What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we are going to convert our machine expansions into Groove Agent drum kits using an app called KitMaker. You will be able to use the high quality machine samples without the need for a native instruments controller or the machine software itself. This method will work on any DAW such as Cubase, FL Studio or Logic. So let's get started. Our first step is to open up the KitMaker app on your computer. You can purchase it for about $30 from KitMaker. Let's go over some of the settings before we get started. There are many settings you want to pay attention to. One of them includes the layout of the pads such as classic, ergonomic or custom. You can arrange the pads however you want. For Cubase and Groove Agent, our output will be numbered files. You can also select between machine libraries and just sample packs that you may have downloaded elsewhere. Under the Preference tab, you can select the number of pads to be filled and also where the files will be stored on your computer after the kits are made. Make sure to save your selections. In order to load our machine expansions into KitMaker, we have to locate the files on our computer. Here are the default locations for both Mac and Windows. For today's exercise, we'll be working with the Pure Drip library. Once your expansion is loaded, you can go ahead and start making your kits. Once KitMaker is finished, the files will be saved to your computer. Let's open up those files and see what the kits look like now. We now have all the drum kits from the Pure Drip library expansion. Now we can load our new kits into Groove Agent. Once we have an instance of Groove Agent open, we can go ahead and start loading our kits. Let's just select a random kit. After choosing your kit, Go ahead and select all the files and then we'll drag them into Groove Agent. If you're not sure about that kit, go ahead and repeat the process until you find one that fits your project. <clears throat> Once we have our kit, we can now save it. We give it a name for a reference later, and then it'll become part of our permanent Groove Agent library. That's it for today. I hope you have found this useful, and please subscribe to see more videos like this, and leave a comment for any suggestions and ideas. Thanks for watching.